Hi folks, this week I thought I'd share a little video with you since I finally have my video equipment set up, my studio set up, I am deliriously happy. And now that the move is done, or at least most of it, uh, I'm going to be doing some more video. So I hope you enjoy this sharing of one of my favorite artists, Matisse, and some of the sketches that I did in order to tune in to this marvelous master. Enjoy. Hello everyone. I wanted to show you how I spent some creative time over the holidays when I had already packed up all of my art supplies and how I was able to spend a few moments of creative time amidst all the crazy packing. Okay, here I, I adore Matisse. He is one of my favorite artists. Here is this beautiful book I got. It was a retrospective of the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Look at this big whopper. It is a huge, heavy, heavy book. And I didn't see the exhibit. This is a used book I got. But what I wanted to show you here is I went through this Matisse book and I found a few paintings that I just loved and there's a zillion more in here that I want to do. And then I just did my own on um, sketch paper. And I'm going to bring us in here. Let's see. How do I? Whoops. Let me bring it in a little bit so you can see what I did. Okay, I picked a painting and I wasn't trying to copy. I never try to copy. I just try to get these wonderful ideas. I loved the gesture of her. I loved that she was in this kimono and the rose. You know, the reason we pick a painting uh, to interpret or even a floral or an animal picture something that we interpret is because something moved us so there was something about the figure the little red rose and the hair that really moved me and so I did my rendition okay next here's another one I did this one is called Carmelina, and this was one of Matisse's models. And then I did my version of her using just gouache and the Pentel, let me get the name right, pocket brush pen. Okay, next, I saw this little piece here, and I just thought she was really cute. And it was, I love to see, it was oil on canvas. He, uh, Matisse mostly used oil later on. He used watercolor and gouaches earlier. And then gouache later when he did his beautiful cutouts, collage cutouts. But this is about 12 by 11. And it's called Woman at the Window. And I've never seen it before, which is another cool thing about these great big books, is that you get to see some of the more minor works rather than, you know, all the ones that are all so famous. And here is my little version of her. Obviously kept with the color scheme. Uh, created some of my own abstractions out here. I did use, I loved this, so I used those little curly cues there. And then she's got something on her lap here. So that was that one. Okay. Well, this famous painting, you've all seen this one. This is of Madame Matisse, the woman with the hat. And it's just, it, this is a great way to tune into an artist's mind. I swear there was a part of me that was really communing with Matisse after I did three or four of these. You know, the how he used the brush, what colors he chose in these different spots. And even though I was using a different medium, uh, there was definitely a connection going on. Loved it. Okay. And over here, this is another one of Madame Matisse, the green line, very famous painting. And, you know, like I do my own version, but, you know, I stayed fairly close to that. I loved, I wanted to use the colors he used. I wanted to use the purple in the corner and the red-orange there and the green here and darker here because I wanted to tune in what made him do those, what made him make those decisions. So I can't recommend this enough. It's just the coolest thing. Okay, here was one I think I'd seen before but not paid much attention to this particular painting. But I loved the way 
the flowers of her hat and I'm guessing that's probably a feather but I just love the way they were asymmetrical so I did my little version here and a couple more okay in this case I loved this little ink pen and ink drawing <clears throat> and it's of Jean Mangan, I probably butchered the name, and I believe it's the wife of Mangan, the painter. And here's my little version of it. And what's fun, the same as with a black and white photo or a black and white, I get to interpret my own colors. And that I really enjoyed. And let's see, oh, this is Marguerite, the beloved daughter of Matisse. And here's my little version of her. You know, once again, not trying to do exactly what he did, but the layout of it I loved. And I loved the high collar and her hair. And, you know, I'm sure you've noticed with Matisse, he doesn't fill in all these details. He leaves so much unfinished or raw. And I think that's something that really attracts me to his work. And let's see, was that the last one? Oh, one more. In fact, this was the first one I did. You can tell different shape paper. The ostrich feather hat. And now the reason this one moved me was I don't on an everyday level see people wearing hats like that. So the hat was really interesting. She had an interesting attitude. I was quite drawn to this black collar although you can see I changed it it looked too severe so I put little dots on mine um, I believe that what he did here was this was in damp paint he took the end of a paintbrush not the brush end but the end and just uh, the techniques called scraffito and and look how inexact they are you know he did it fast and and as you work on another artist painter whom you admire or maybe even one you don't you really start tuning in to how they painted so that's my sharing